Hello and welcome back to another Cables GL tutorial. In this video, we are going to attempt the prompt sample a color palette from your favorite movie slash album cover. So we are going to use uh, the kind of images or movie posters that you see and we are going to make uh, the ones that you see on the right using the same or similar color palette. So let's get started. As usual, we will start off with our empty patch. We will drop in the essential components, a main loop for initializing the patch, an image compose up for our initial texture, one texture and a draw image. So we will connect this draw image to this texture field and we cannot see anything uh, because we do not have anything rendering. Uh, so we will just create a full screen rectangle to kind of show us what we have so far. And we can see that this whatever can I see the blank texture is kind of rendered out here. Now we want to make a few changes, for example, set this to manual. Um, maybe a width of 480 and for the height what we are going to do is uh, have like a, take the values from this texture and then kind of tweak this accordingly. So this width we can consider it to be W, this height is H uh, and this texture has W1 and H1. So if uh, we want to kind of find out our H, uh, then basically W by H equals to W1 by H1. Uh, so if we want to figure out the value of H, we are going to multiply uh, this number. Uh, we are going to first find out like the value of like these two uh, width and height and then multiply it with 480 in this case 480 and kind of feed it back to this height so now let's uh, it's still kind of blank and we'll get to that so let's drop in uh, some image so the way we are going to drop in the image is we are just going to look for some images in Google. Uh, right click on it, do a copy image address, copy the address and then on texture in the file we'll just kind of paste that link and we have our texture in here. It's a long link so we'll kind of move it to the top. So yeah, we have our image displayed, but it's kind of squished. So we will switch on the aspect ratio. And I think this is, uh, yeah. So we now have like our initial kind of image. We'll make this like a bit smaller. Mm, so here we will click on transform, set these to 1.2 and 1.2. And we see that like we have all of these areas which we want to get rid of. So it's kind of like tiling. So we'll just drop it off. So now we have this first image. We'll disconnect it. And in order to see what's going on, we'll add in a this texture off. So now we want to kind of create the kind of pattern that you saw earlier. And we want to fill uh, the image color values into that one and then compose these two in one. So let's create uh, another image compose or let's just create two in fact. So one will have uh, the kind of pattern and the other one will have both of them together. So for the pattern, let's just add in some color 
for now. This texture. So we see what we have right now. Here also we'll do the same thing. Connect this to the height and the width we will change to 480 since we have the same uh, for this other image. And then in the other one where we are supposed to be composing everything, we are going to add in a draw image or I guess two draw image ops. Take the two values. So one goes from here to here and the other one goes from here to here. Now you see they are kind of overlapping uh, each other and they're kind of filling in the entire area. We do not want that. So we'll just do aspect ratio and same here for like aspect ratio. Crop out the rest and transform it a bit. And then we will put this back into our full screen rectangle. So let's disconnect this for a moment. So we see that we have like this gigantic kind of image. Uh, I think we also need to resize this a bit. So instead of doing uh, X, we can also do an aspect ratio by Y. So what happens is that uh, it becomes constrained with these like the top and the bottom and uh, it kind of expands and contracts on the x-axis like it gets fixed along this axis so let's crop it out it's uh, and we will connect this to the same thing y so you see we have this here here also we will do transform and 1.2 1.2 and then change this value a little so that it kind of sits nicely okay so we have a primary composition you can tweak the values further to your liking let's change this aspect ratio to 16 is to 9 so that we have like a nice looking patch mm. yeah i guess that's it so now let's kind of set up our main color sampling thing so we will first get rid of this color and drop in uh, some noise. In this particular case, we will be using pixel noise and we have something going on already. Um, so I will just change the values a bit. Let's make this zero so that we only have some bars, change this to 16 or maybe change this to four. So there is like no right or wrong thing. You can just play around just get something that you like or prefer um, connect these two change these values again mm, maybe change this one to 32 so that we have like final lines and multiply it to the old one so you can see what's going on here and then i will make another one connect these two but it becomes too dark so I will uh, lighten this maybe and uh, set the values to 8 and 32 so we have something going on here now once we have some sort of like a pattern going on you can just uh, add a color map and plug this into this image compose so it starts taking the values from there and change the position a little bit to get like the kind of color that you might want so this is it i hope you liked it 
So all of these patches are open, uh, so you can kind of uh, check them out. Uh, the link is always in the description.